All right, folks, tonight we're going to talk about two things. Uh, the first one, um, this whole thing about the, you know, the Democrats are upset. They're not going to sleep well tonight because the Attorney General is doing a criminal investigation on that whole Russia file. You know, the one we never really saw the contents of, and the one that led to the Mueller hearing, which found nothing of any substance. Where did this fake file come from? Who gave the orders? And who paid for it? We're going to have a lot of nervous, liberal, left-wing, wacko Democrats out there thinking about, damn, Am I going to look good in prison, Gray? And I would love that to happen. And of course, now they're all going, Oh, oh, this is political. It wasn't political when you invented a fake file and tried to use it against the President of the United States. It wasn't political. Just because you don't like Donald Trump because he speaks truth. Oh, no, he's not stable. No, he's so stable, it's ridiculous. You're the ones who look like the idiots. Trust me, folks. You guys come out to the middle of the country here. And you walk into a room with a bunch of regular folks who actually work for a living and ask them what they think about your ideas for policies. And, and tell them, if you don't like it, you're welcome to beat the shit out of me. Well, you ain't getting out of there alive. And that is really the way it is. And that's why you lost the 2016 election. And now you're desperately trying to get this whole in impeachment hearing, which is about as transparent as a brick wall, uh, to do something. Just to take people's minds off the fact that you all committed crimes leading up to the uh, Mueller hearing. Just... Because you don't like Donald Trump. Because he's willing to say the truth. So you'll sleep well tonight. And start thinking about buying some long underwear and stuff to bring with you when you go to jail. Because they don't tend to heat the jails real well. And they give you these thin blankets. And they're not going to treat you all that well. Hopefully they'll throw your ass in love more and put you at hard labor. Because ain't none of you assholes have ever had a job. So, for all of y'all, we want y'all gone. Have fun in jail. Now, let's move on to the other end of the video. Socialism. If I hear one more time about housing for all Americans and free health care from Elizabeth Warren, where does all this money come from? This, you know, people go, oh, the government has a lot of money. They don't have, okay. This is something they need to start teaching in kindergarten. The most money sucking, absolutely useless, non-productive organization on earth is the government of the United States. It doesn't produce a single resellable product. Nothing. Zero. Now, they know one in Congress who's produced something that would bring money in, you know, billions into Congress. You know, if some congressman had invented the iPhone and said, hey, all the profits can go here, well, we'd have an extra trillion, and you guys would just blow it anyway. We need to teach people, you don't get shit for free. Somebody, me, you, somebody out there who has an actual job, has to pay for it. Out of our taxes. Hello? 
Uh, there is nothing in the world that comes for free. Oh, we'll give houses to everyone. We'll give free health care. And how are you going to pay for this shit? Uh, we have a plan. Yeah, they've said that for years. You know what those plans usually involve? Taking people who will work for a living and siphoning off their social security money. Yeah. What? They've never... Yeah, they, the Democrats have been doing that for years. This is all to buy votes. It's all these plans exist for. And, of course, they're socialist plans. It's a socialist mentality. And ask yourself, how stupid are these morons in Congress? How uneducated are they in the reality of socialism? Ask people in Hungary. Ask people in Czechoslovakia. Ask people in Yugoslavia, which doesn't even exist anymore. Russia. Communism, socialism, those names are interchangeable along with Democratic Party currently. When governments can tr try to control everything, there are two things they do. One, they come up with really restrictive rules and limit your freedoms. And number two, they take away your right to bear arms. You know why? Because they don't want to end up lined up against the nearest wall getting shot. When the public finally goes, enough is enough. So, a couple of things to keep in mind here. Never vote for anyone who offers to give you something for free. There's no free. They're offering to give you something that your neighbor on the left, your neighbor on the right... Your co-workers have just paid for. Yeah, no free. Government got no money. If you haven't figured that out, you might be stupid. There's no easier way to say it. Or uneducated or ignorant. Now, ignorant is not an insult, by the way. Oh, sorry, I got a little sinus infection. Cold weather, rain all day. Uh, but uh, the government is the absolute shining beacon of why we're totally broke. They got no money. Yeah, and people need to quit taking the government's free money. You know, when they hand out treasury checks, I would love it if banks and other places said, no, nah, you ain't got nothing to back that up. We can't cash that. That's fake money. Imagine what would happen. The economy would go, and yeah, everyone in Congress would be lined up against that wall. And the firing squad shooting them. And that's just my opinion. And if it offends you, that's too damn bad. You need to read your effing constitution. Yeah. You don't have a right to not be offended. Because the First Amendment guarantees me freedom of speech. And I'm allowed to piss you off and make you squirm. Get used to it. There's going to be more of these. That's all I got for tonight. Have a great evening.